everybody. Chris Beatty's here from Grower Talks Magazine. Ellen Wells, Green Prop Magazine. She's leaning up against the tree here. Comfy. This, this is a beautiful spot. This is uh, the future home of the Ventura Botanical Garden here That's in correct. beautiful, Ventura. sunny, nice, breezy Ventura, California. You see the uh, ocean out there and the Pretty Channel views. Islands in the distance. And uh, we're standing in what what your American calls the, the I wrote the down Arbor the, Walk. the Arbor Walk. Check this out. It's pretty cool for this temporary site they've created at the future home here. They have, uh, well, you can see the sort of the walk under these nice uh, trees. Are these eucalyptus trees? I'm not sure what these so. are. No, yeah, but there's something native California. But hey, this is a great example of a retail garden center idea for a display. Temporary, yeah. You can build these yourself. Built up out of pallet wood. Mm -hmm burlap and fabric. look at the vertical pallets there a little bit of ground cloth stapled up inside to hold the soil this is you know I love pallets right this is a great use for old pallets but it's also a display area for their new varieties and Ellen they told me they've got them all inside this temporary so. greenhouse canopy tent they've set up so let's go check it let's, out let's shall do we? it the arbor walk nice idea hey Ellen you know what this is don't know well, I'm going to tell you what this is. This is something that uh, Euro American introduced this year for for uh, improving the ship the shipability of their plugs. It's Thermo Shield. It's basically an insulated uh, material in their boxes and also for their palletized plants. They say it'll help hold the temperature, uh, both keeping the plugs from getting too cold or too hot. And like a thermos. You, a thermos, exactly. Thermo shield. And this ah, winter, no, I get you it. don't think it paid off for them in, oh, it must have. in a big way. They lost uh, many fewer uh, plants uh, during those tough shipping conditions all around the country this year. So that's something they're doing, Thermo Shield. And Very of course, cool. because they are young plant producers, they show a lot of displays about how they uh, ship their product and package them. But a couple of uh, new introductions or new areas they're working on. One of them is perennials. Perennials, yeah. They've got a lot of them here. This is good as gold caryopsis, uh, caryopteris. Yeah, we've got coreopsis up above. We've got some daylilies. There's a pretty one there. Uh, come like this the way. Penstemons. We've got some penstemons. And the flocks. Flocks, leucanthemum, she was just looking at there. It's a little bit of everything. And I thought because they're in San Diego that they'd be specializing in, you know, California perennials. But that's everything. really not the case. They do mm. they do all kinds, right. all zones. And if you're not sure which ones you want to grow, check out Have these mix. mixed and mingled trays. What they've got is um, uh, 12 trays. In, no, six trays in two boxes as one skew and it's 16 different varieties. So you get a mix and mingle variety of perennials. But next, how about some woodies, Ellen? Okay. I'm really liking this uh, shrub that Jen Zerko found here. It's a callistemum called Bottle Pop Neon Pink. A little bit of a, I, you know, reminds me of a mimosa tree flower. Um, very Dr. Seuss-like, and I love the the uh, stems. Beautiful. Bottle brush, common name of that. Gorgeous. Here's something interesting, and, and this is, by the way, this is their shrub line, Ellen, that they're they're really working on. How about fuchsia? Fuchsia is a shrub, you might say. It is here. At, out California. here, it's going to live for years and make a really nice little bush or tree. They also have it in their color line. This is a, a, a melastoma called pink minx. And then they've even got blueberries, a couple of different ones. Hmm. Um, they're only showing one here. This is called Indigo Pearls Afera. And you actually even see some of the fruits on there. And this one can be grown in alkaline soil. Uh, they prefer acid, but it'll actually take that. Yeah. You're right. That's pretty cool. And a few other things uh, in the, the uh, shrub line. But of course, succulents is something they're really known for. Mm. Got a big line of them, a few new intros, including this really sexy Echeveria called lipstick because of obviously that uh, ah, dark red edge. I get that. And this one, I thought it looked like ice plant. And they said, yeah, that's a it that's is. a unique color of ice plant. Heart um, of gold. Mesembramanthemum. Say that. I'm not going to say it again. I'm just going to call it heart of heart of gold. But that's uh, one of the new savvy succulents. And you can see all the different trays of succulents they have available. They even have hens and chicks, folks, as unrooted cuttings, if you'd like oh. them that way. And here's a neat little retail idea. They call it a succulent bouquet. Lots of different varieties in one pot. This is a 
Four inch comes in six inch as well. In the savvy succulents. And I mentioned the fuchsia is in the shrubs and the color line. That's right. We're in the sort of the color area. They've got lots of color here at Euro. In fact, that's what they're, I thought they were most known for. So we'll show you a few of the introductions. How about this little interesting guy? Super mint. This is midnight mojito. It's a, I, I'm going to have a hard time with Hespero Hesperozygus. 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 And get my shadow off of it. And it does have a little bit of a minty smell to it. You crush it. Mmm. Kind of clears the sinuses. Yes. Two different I need colors that. in that. Midnight mojito and sunrise mojito. Which is a pinky orange. And this this is a neat plant. I wasn't I didn't identify it at first. I was attracted to the back side of the leaves. It has that nice burgundy color in there, glossy foliage. This is actually a um, a goldfish plant. Uh, Nematanthus. It's a gaznariad, actually a distant relative of African violets. Ooh. And they've got three different shady ladies, mm -hmm. meaning they'll do great in the shade. They also do great as a house plant. No blooms on those yet. They're still young, but those are kind of nice. And then last but not least, let's take a look at, well, how about a, a scavola called Glimmer Pink? So lots more to see here on the hill at Euro American Propagators at the 2014 California Pack Trials. For Ellen Wells, who's right back there, I'm Chris Bates. See you guys later.